Welcome back to Diablo 4 fans and today I'm going to be giving you tips on what I would have liked to have known before I played Diablo 4. And tip number one is when you are riding around on your horse and you're having to try and find and navigate your way from map to game, map to game, just to make sure that you keep going, keep going, keep going. Where am I going? Down here. Okay, kind of follow that. One simple trick. Right click and it drops a pin. And it gives you a nice GTA 5 style roadmap. And you just follow that on your map. And you are away, my friends. The amount of time that I spent playing Diablo and not knowing this. Like, I did the whole campaign without knowing that this existed. This changed my life. Tip number two. If you ever want to know where a hell tide is going to take place, then go to helltides.com. This website will show you where it's going to be it'll show you when it respawns it'll show you when the next world boss is it'll show you where the events are within that and they're all confirmed and it'll show you where the chests are as well so good luck with that one it's a really cool little website so thank you guys for putting that together tip number three what i'd like to show you is when you're looking at your weaponry there's no tool tips so if you see the percentage damage of 14 percent that is a roll that could have happened so between 10% and 25%. You just don't know. In Diablo 3, that was automatically switched on. In D4, it's automatically defaulted off. So, if you go to Gameplay, Options, Gameplay, you see Advanced Tooltip Compare, Advanced Tooltip Information. When enabled, when comparing items, tooltips, properties gained, lost, and changes to equipment skills will be displayed. And then the information, displayed advanced information on tooltips, such as property ranges, lucky hit chance on skills, and indicator as whether modifications are additive plus or multiplicative times. Add them back on. Let me go in. And now you can see that your weapon damage, so I rolled the top stat of 14% damage, but on my basic skill damage, I only rolled 28 out of a maximum of 41. Just really useful information that was there in Diablo 3, but is automatically switched off in Diablo 4. Another tip for you Diablo fans is Diablo4.purediablo.com. This actually shows you the whole map, but what you can do is just, where are all the altars? There are all the altars of Lilith. So if you wanted to just do a specific region, you could. This is a really helpful map. It's really helpful when you're looking for specific dungeons. So if you're trying to get the aspects from the dungeons and you haven't discovered them yet, use this. And it's a really great way of kind of shielding where you're going to go next or you know it's a, it's a great tool so thank you for the guys at pure diablo because this is a really great tool to have another tip that i always forget but it's super important if you want to try to uh, gain boosts and xp is when you pick up elixirs they drop into your consumables tab now most people know that because most of their nightmare sigils are in there but your elixirs give you 5% experience for 30 minutes, plus another boost. So this one's got Shadow Resist by 15%. This one's got Evade by 8 Just keep up with your elixirs. It gives you an infinite boost, because you'll always have elixirs around. You'll just be able to keep going. You'll always have 5% extra experience each time you play. It's a great little tip, and I always forget to put them on myself, so I am guilty. There you have it, Diablo fans, my top five tips for Diablo 4 if you're just starting out. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you found it useful. Please hit the like and subscribe button, and I hope to see you all again soon.